Hey guys, this is Mike Keisha coming to you from out of Chester. And out here they call me the Cake Boss. And I am going to demonstrate another gender reveal cake. And I am using three nine inch cakes. So, um, I'm going to have to carve them down. Because then it will be absolutely too high. But I'm using three. And we have our candy. And I like using the sticklets because they are round. And once the mommy cut the cake, these will roll out. Instead of m and Sometimes m and may roll, some of them may not. So you stick with a round candy and it's for sure will roll. I got this container from Walmart. And it was like $11.96 maybe. So we have that. We have my buttercream. I have my spatulas. My cake lover. Well, you know, serrated knife, not a lever, but a serrated knife. And my cookie cutter. Just to let me know my perimeter. And you're not gonna cut the bottom. That's your base. But I wanna put this cookie cutter here so I can buttercream around it. So it makes it easier if that is in place that you can just buttercream around it. And you don't want to buttercream inside because you don't want your candy to get stuck. So just go around it. And because I stuck the cookie cutter inside, it's not moving. So I can hit it and it's not moving. So that's what you want to do. And you don't want to color your icing to, you know to go to the middle of your cake because you don't want them to know what you're having what they're having until you until they cut it so make sure when you buttercream it is white okay so that's that looks good teeny teeny bit okay there you go So, we're going to take my cookie cutter out, place it over here, and we are going to add our layer that we're going to cut. And I think I'm going to cut it off the board because I don't want the buttercream to touch the bottom. Let me unwrap it. I know in my other videos I did a smaller cake. So it was a little bit easier to cut that one because it was small. So this one might be a little tricky. Sorry, Sorry for my hands guys. Okay. So go right in the middle. Press down. And I like to kind of pull it up. Then I'll flip it over and do it again. Make sure you go in the middle. And you'll know if you hit the middle because you'll fill it. And you'll also get the cake. So once you go in, go in as much as you feel comfortable. Flip it over and then you can take the remaining. Do it from the back. anymore, So I'm going to put that aside. This is the tricky part because you don't want to break your cake. See, we have a hole. And I'm going to be ever so carefully and put that right on top. Just like so. And I'm going to lift this up so you can see. There's my hole. That's what it looks like. So we're just going to fill all this with candy all inside and you see how the buttercream is not inside because you want the candy not to stick to anything so by being hollow like this with no buttercream when they go to cut it it would just roll out but if you had candy there it would roll out okay so now it is time to fill our cake with candy and I'm going to show you guys another way. 
At first I said I was going to use um, three nine inch. Well, change of plans. Because if I did three of them, this is how high the cake would be. And I'm not okay with it being that high. So instead of it cutting it down, I am just going to use the cake that I took out of the middle. And I'll show you how. First, I am going to fill it with my cichlids. Fill it all the way to the top. So it can't go anymore. Then push it down, filling it. I just apply a little pressure just to make sure they're nice and in. Okay, so they're nice and in. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to buttercream it just around the perimeters and then I'm going to come back and show you how I add the cake on. Okay guys, so I went on and put my candy in as you've seen and I cut my little cake that I took out of the nine and I cut it in half and I just placed it back and you want to do it so it's flush. So there we go. So now what I'm about to do is I'm about to crumb coat it and then we're going to cover it with fondant and start the decoration. So here. And we are going to make a mound. Just like so. You can see it like that. We have some beautiful stars that I made. And he's going to go on top of the cloud just like so. Then we have a little baby one. Again, it's made out of fondant. And I let it dry. And you put them on top of the clouds. And I gotta make some bottles because the bottles will go there. We do the moon. See, I always think every time I place it, they'll be able to tell me what it is. What you think? Should I do it this way or this way? So guys, this is my finished baby shower cake that I showed you guys how to make my gender reveal cake so just to recap when she cut the cake we have a flow of candy that is going to come out to let her know the sex of the baby and I use my edible machine to do the twinkle twinkle little star how we wonder what you are again everything is made out of fondant that I have made I showed you guys and this is two nine inch dirty ice stacked together. Got some little clouds going around the back. So this is the finished product. Again guys, thanks for watching. Shoot me a comment, let me know what you think of my cakes. As always, thanks for the love and support. You guys can find me on Facebook at JJ Sweet Tooth or type in Cake Boss of Chester. You guys can go to my website, jjsweettooth.com. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my cake, guys. As always, thanks for the love and support.